Hi everybody, I'm coming to you from lockdown here in Dubai where I'm staying with my aunt Amal and um, I've chosen a dish today that was taught to me by my aunt Amal herself. Uh, it's called Si Adiye. She learned this dish. It's of the fishermen's. It's a rice and fish and cumin and um, caramelized onion dish. She learned this dish from my grandmother um, who lived on the, the shores of Batroun um she uh basically loved this dish so we all love it here and we're going to go ahead and get started but you can also find the recipe in my first cookbook the jeweled kitchen and i will show you a close-up here of what the final dish looks like and now we can get started and it's a terrific dish to use some fish head if you've got it to make the stock that's what we're going to start with first it's a rice dish rice and fish dish main ingredient is a lot of caramelized onions that go into the rice and then also on top of the rice i'll go through all the various different parts um, and cumin is one of the dominant spices so first things first i've got four onions red onions here that i've thinly sliced you don't have to be very um uh, refined about it because these are just going to cook down um, until they're nice brown. Olive oil here in the pot. Put these in. We're going to slow. We're going to slow stir just like that. And this is a really good recipe that you can make in two parts. So you get the broth going and then you kind of leave it on the heat, on low heat, and then you can kind of get on with other things that you're doing, especially now as you're in isolation. Meanwhile, what I, do, what I do while those are slow cooking, I get all my spices together. Now, traditionally the recipe usually just calls for cumin and I like to use a, ver a number of different other spices. So here I've got some coriander, I've got a little bit of mustard seeds, some uh, cumin, also here are some um, hail or cardamom, and also some black pepper. So what I'm going to do is just kind of lightly crush that. We're not going to use it just yet, but that is what's going to go into the onions when we come to fry the fish heads. Also here I've got some cinnamon, some bay leaf, cloves, a nutmeg, and some ginger. So these are all the spices that we're going to be working with today. So here what I have is a bit of a chopped up, a um, couple of chopped up heads uh, of a kingfish that I got at the fishmonger. Um, now, what I'm going to be using as the main fish for the dish is going to be this yellow fin tuna, these beautiful beauties right here. Um, and I like to keep the head intact because that for me is the best part of the dish. So I will be digging into that. So I want to kind of have a separate um, enjoyment to the meal and this is my favorite part. So we're probably going to either grill this on the barbie or probably in the oven. It just depends on how we're doing with time. So while we wait for the onions to nicely brown and soften, what we're going to do is get started with the um, tempura onion. So this is another important element to this three layer dish. So the first thing as we did is we're starting with a really good fish stock. Then we're going to come back to the rice, which will be the second part, we'll talk about it. This is what you will be using as a topping. So this, what we're going to do is just thinly slice it into moon shapes. And then we're going to um, just kind of salt that to extract all of the juices, strain it really well, flour it, and then fry it. And you're gonna get a really nice golden crisp onion that we're gonna use as a topping with um, some pine nuts and some toasted almonds. You do want to try to get this as even as possible, so like nice thin slices. You can use a mandolin, which I normally do, but not everyone has one at home, so I'm just going to use a knife for today. To transfer the onions into this bowl, and then we're going to sprinkle them with some really good Himalayan salt that we've got here, and just kind of rub them and massage them like this, and then set them aside for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes until all of those juices, all the water is extracted. Is, I've got about like 300 grams of basmati rice over here that I've rinsed about four or five different times and now I'm soaking it in water. And to this water, I'm going to add a very generous couple of tablespoons of salt. Um, so we're gonna leave that to soak for about 30 minutes 
Um, usually you don't need to soak it for longer and then you can just strain it and then be adding it um, and cooking with it. So that's the second step. Now also in the interim, what we're going to do is cook through also um, some pine nuts and we're going to toast some almonds. We're on medium to high heat and what we're going to do is we're just going to drop some of these pine nuts in there and let them just swim in the oil. Give them a quick toss so that they don't stick to the bottom. And as soon as you see them just getting into that color, you want to quickly take them out, turn off the heat, and you can start taking them out. Perfectly golden. Beautiful. Fabulous. Our onions now, they've been cooking for roughly 20 to 30 minutes. So you want to do this part definitely before you go, uh, you want to do this before you shower. So I'm going to leave half of that in there and I'm going to take out this half. This is going to be tossed into my rice. So this we're going to save for later. So again, big part of this dish is the onions, the cumin, and obviously it is a fish-based dish. So a very good, rich, delicious fish stock is a necessity. So here we go. We're leaving these lovely browned onions in there. To that, we're going to add our chopped fish heads, like that. Give it a nice toss. Get them nicely coated. Okay, next what we're going to do is toss in the crushed spices that we put together earlier, as well as some of that those cloves, the ginger, the bay leaves, the cinnamon stick. And again, we're going to give this all a very good toss. And then we add water and salt, but I don't want to do that until I've got some browning on my fish, my fish heads. So just give it a little bit longer. And then also one thing I did forget is some garlic. So let's get some garlic, one second, with the skin on, because that's how you get the nice mellow sweetness from the garlic. So no, no unnecessary chopping or peeling or any of that. So I'm just gonna put it in a couple of cloves. Maybe a bit more for the garlic lovers amongst us. So there we go. Just give it all a nice little toss and then crushed as well. And this is all going to get discarded. So when we finish the stock, when we slow cook the stock for a couple of hours, what's going to happen is we're gonna discard all of this. It's gonna cook down into mush. And what we're going to have is a very nice, clean um, stock to work with, to cook the rice in. all this delicious browning that's going on over here and now what we can do is go ahead and add about a liter of water We're going to bring that to the boil. We're going to remove any kind of scum that may develop at the top, and then we're going to cover it and we're going to cook it on very low heat. And I like to cook it low and slow for a couple of hours. Um, sometimes I do actually add just like a splash of um, balsamic vinegar, so we can go ahead and do that now also. And I just, we don't want it to overpower. This is just, just to give it a nice rounding. Um, so it gives it a nice sweetness and a bit of acidity, so it breaks up all the richness in the stock. Okay. Onto a rolling boil. And now what I'm going to do is, that's the sort of scum that I was talking about. So we just want to get rid of some of that. Um, you're not going to get all of it out, but you just want to try and get as much as you can out. 
without kind of getting rid of all the spices. And then what we're going to do is give it a nice little stir. And then we're just going to reduce the heat and let it simmer for a couple of hours. So I've got my strainer here and you can see them. All of that water or juice is ready to come out. So we're going to squeeze these really, really well. We're going to get as much moisture as we can out. Right, and then that is good. So just squeeze. Again, this is the, one of the parts that you probably want to do before you shower. So if you just get rid of these two elements, and then you cook the rice right at the last minute, you're good. And what I want to do is just get, again, as much moisture as I can out of these before I dust them with more flour. Well, with flour. So we're just going to pat these dry like that. There we go. So they're perfect. What I'm going to do... mixing this here and what I do is I just dust it like that and I take these I've got my oil heating over there and just before frying them I just toss them in the flour like that separate them as much as I can and give them a good deep fry so we're just gonna head on over there in a second and the strainer just helps you kind of the flour so that it doesn't get too cakey because you don't want too much flour. So you want them coated nicely, but just enough. So it helps you kind of control that level there. You can see here I've got my um, onions dusted in flour. I think my oil is ready. Yep. And what I want to do is I want to do this in batches. Again, you want to have everything ready. So paper towel lined plate, my quick strainer, and then I just Flip them quickly. Just separate them as you go. They only take a couple of minutes, so you can't do this and walk away. You need to stay on top of it. And until they're really nice and golden, you want to make sure they don't go brown. You can do this ahead. So this is why I always do these, these elements right before, and then I come back to the dish right before it's time to serve it. So we'll talk about that again. So, so now that we've got our stock uh, simmering here, so you can leave this for a couple of hours, like I said. All of the other elements that we've prepped ahead and what we do is right before, about like 45 minutes before you want to sit down and eat, then you just come and you assemble everything. So we've got the onions that we removed before we added um, the fish to create the stock. So we've reserved half of those onions. What we're going to do is we're going to cook those through, add the rice, add some more cumin, and then add the stock to create the rice dish while the fish will be cooking in the oven. And these are our toppings. So these lovely um, tempura onions here and also our toasted or fried nuts. So these are our toppings. So this, this can all be ready beforehand, so then you can get on with your day and come back and just do every, everything in the last 40 minutes before cooking. But you can cook it all in the last 40 minutes before eating. Now we're back, and I've um, done the good deed of showering and got rid of all that onion smell right before dinner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those onions, those, remember these onions that we caramelized earlier? We're going to bring them back here. We're going to add them to the pot. So we're going to start with that as a base. And what I've got here 
is the pre-soaked rice. So that's been, that was pre-soaked for, we soaked it for about 30 minutes, strained it, set it aside. And this is the lovely broth that's been cooking. So I cooked that for about four hours on simmer, strained it. So you can see this is all kind of here now. We're gonna just get rid of that. We have a really lovely, nice broth. So one of the key ingredients is cumin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the powdered cumin. I'm gonna work that in. So I'm gonna get some powdered cumin and we're gonna sprinkle that in. It looks like I'm out of ground cumin. So what I'm gonna do here is just crush about a tablespoon of cumin seeds, very roughly like that. And then I'm going to toss that in with the onions just to get all those oils and the aroma coming through. So yum, I can smell it. Beautiful. So just let that add the rice. Now we're just going to add that rice. Just like that. And stir it well to coat. Level the rice as much as you can because I like to eyeball. I don't like to go with precise measurements on this. So what I'm going to do is stir in that lovely sauce and I just want it to barely cover the rice just like that because then you don't get stodgy rice. That's perfect. My pot's a bit too big for it but it's okay. I'm reusing the same pot so you know you can do that at home so you're not got too much dishes to wash up and that for me looks perfect so it's just covered the rice and that's fine because the rice has soaked for 30 minutes so it's already gone a bit through the absorption me method um, so that's it so now we're just gonna cover it and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes um, and then we're ready to assemble our dish Okay, so for the final step, the rice is on, it's cooking, it needs about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, so in the same time I've prepped this. Um, so it's a yellow tail fish, so I've got two yellow tail fish here with some sweet potatoes, some cherry tomatoes, and some red onions, as well as some lemon. And this is going to go into the oven for about 25 minutes. I've set it at 300 to 200 degrees Celsius, and dinner is set. We're going to assemble this, so I cooked the fish for about 25 to 30 minutes and then we grilled it for about 10 minutes um, on high. This here is the finished rice, so we're just going to do that, get it in there, round it nicely. And our fish is going to go in the center, so we're going to make a nice little well for it. And I think this fish over here looks the best. So we'll take that baby out like that, plunk it in there, and then we will dot. So we can just wipe this down afterwards. So get some of these veggies in there. Yum! Bring them in here. Done. Okay. There you go, our CRDA ready for serving. Sartain.